How's it going guys? Welcome back to Gary's Mod and today we're going to talk about temperature. More specifically, the temperature mod. It's a mod that allows you to have realistic temperature within the game. Now we've seen a lot of, well, lighting things on fire. And obviously this is very fun and enjoyable, especially when you can hear your favorite NPC writhing in pain. Ugh, just does it for me. But it's always kind of been a little static, hasn't it? I mean, something's hot, something's cold. How can you even determine what that is? There really isn't something like that in the game. Well, lo and behold, with this command, you can get the temperature of anything you're looking at. Now, the good thing is, is you can bind it. I have mine binded to X, so every time I do press the X key, I can now get the temperature both within the Celsius scale and the Fahrenheit scale. Now, of course, I'm an American degenerate. If you guys want to see more degeneracy, check out yesterday's video. But we can see that it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty cool. I mean, that's definitely quite cold. But what if we were to increase the temperature? How do you do that? Well, there's many different ways. For starters, we have two contraptions that we can use to heat up or cool down whatever it is we want. We also have a thermometer, which is pretty cool. Uh, it, it has like a laser, and whatever you point this at, it'll tell you the apparent temperature, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and set this up and uh, get the laser pointing at it, and we can see 20 degrees Celsius, which is correct. Now let's go ahead and heat things up a little bit. So, like I said, we have two different kinds of devices here. One has a hot beam and a cold beam. Yeah, I could have said that better. Anyway, one of them makes the temperature increase, the other decreases the temperature. Let's go ahead and set this up correctly. And look at that, we're seeing an increase in temperature. Let's go ahead and see if it does work. Yep, 148, 154, 161, 172, 179, 187, 195, 200. Now what happens when the temperature of something starts to go up? Well, as you can see from the health bar up there, the props integrity starts to break down. And not only that, but we even get some red shifting here. To give you some perspective, let's go ahead and spawn in another. And look at that, that is definitely more red and oof, a little hot. You gotta be careful where you put your hand. But here's the thing that's even more interesting about it. The temperature can spread. So that's another really cool thing about this. It really does follow along the laws of thermodynamics. Let's go ahead and pull it a bit closer and look at that. The temperature has now spread. This is not being affected by the laser, but check out how close the temperatures are. We have 850 here, oh. Oh, 900. So yeah, they're pretty comparable. So if we pull it away a little bit, what do you think is going to happen? Well, probably what you'd expect. The temperature is slowly but surely going down as the heat energy radiates off into the air. Oof. And yeah, guys, you gotta be very careful because this thing starts to get very hot. We're in the thousands now in terms of the Fahrenheit scale. It's gonna get even more red shifted. And, uh, yeah, we could see right there, 700 degrees Celsius. All right, so that's all cool, but it's not as cool as it could be. Let's go ahead and go the opposite direction of the temperature scale. Let's use the freeze ray, as I like to call it. Now, this laser, for some reason, does like to, well, get superimposed by the map in front of it. I don't know what's up with that, but I will go ahead and spawn in yet another thermometer to give us a better reading. And we could see, yep. The temperature is already negative 60 degrees Celsius. That's pretty alarming. Negative 150 Fahrenheit. I feel like this is changing a lot quicker than this, but oh, holy cow. It is now glowing red hot, 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, guys, just with the last one, this should in theory change color, although we're already at the negative 500 degrees and it doesn't seem to be changing. Ooh. But here's the thing, you get this cool little frosty effect when you get too close to it. But this, I mean, I assume you'll just spontaneously combust. Now let's say that you wanted to manually adjust the temperature. Well, no worries, my friends. Go ahead and go into the console, type this command in, and you can set the temperature to whatever it is you wish. Let's go see if this works. And it did, yep right there 10,000 degrees celsius it is so hot that you will instantly die if you approach it and if you're wondering about the radiation effect well get this just like that boom 
We are now already at 10,000 degrees Celsius. That kind of heat transfer is incredibly efficient. I don't know if that's realistic at all, but once again, one thing I really love about this mod is I love how the temperature very, very gradually goes down once the heat source has been removed, which is realistic. But what if we put the really hot item in front of the cold ray? Well, we can see the heat has passed on and this will kind of carry on to every prop that gets within its vicinity. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this right. And now we can see the temperature is dropping gradually much faster than normal and to compare i mean we can see this is at 10 3 and this one's at 10 2 so it's dropping much faster because again it's being cooled by this but of course we can also use that command we just used to set the temperature this time we're going to go ahead and do negative 10,000. all right and yep we are at negative 10,000, and wouldn't recommend touching this. All right, so the description didn't mention this at all, but one thing I would love to do is I would love if there was a feature where the hotter something gets, the more the danger field of the heat, I guess you can call it, expands. If this was like, I don't know, 30,000 degrees, if I got like this close, I would die or start taking damage and it would just grow and grow and grow. I mean, you could see this is still 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You could definitely burn yourself on it, but you'll notice that the temperature isn't that bad. You're not really dying. Now, of course, I would also love if there was a really cool like ice effect on this, but uh, I guess you kind of do get that. If you get close enough, it, uh, it has that like frost. Of course, I'd be a fool if I did not mention the amazing settings tab with a bunch of great features like adjusting the normal temperature, the amount of value that it increases, and the spread value. So if you don't want it to spread, you can also go ahead and turn this off. Now before we end the video, I also want to mention that you don't have to use these tools to heat things up. You can even use fire. Let's go ahead and ignite, and look at this. The temperature is very slowly going up, 150, 170. 200, 228, and look at that, the color is shifting. Eventually, it will look just like that. Now, I don't know if the fire will spread, um, but the heat definitely will. As you can see now, they are pretty relative. I guess if I had one request as well, I would like for the heat of something next to it to gradually gain the heat, but it looks like it just kind of matches it. Oh, and now they're both red hot. Now you're probably wondering, wait, why does this look weird? Well, there is a limit to the amount of glowing objects you can have, and I think you can increase that if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so right now we have it at five. One, two, three, four. Oh, and then we have the stool. Okay, so yep, so this is beyond the limits, but hey, limits are meant to be broken, right? And you can do just that. Now everything can glow, yay. But what do you guys think about a realistic temperature mod? Do you think it fits in Gary's mod? What ways could you use this in your game? I'd love to hear all that down below. Use code NECROS94 to save 20% off your next G Fuel order. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.